Amen. But it is to believe or to hope for the things you have not seen, but you are sure that they must happen. Amen. Amen. Yeah, anyone who can want, who want to add on the faith, our brother Peter, tell us. Praise Jesus. According to our brother, these are the things you are hoping for, but now you cannot see them with your eyes. You will see them later after they have happened. When is the Anyone? Our brother Steve. When is the Amen. Kuongezea jambo uh, katika hayo majibu. Mm -hmm. Soma katika wa Iberania kumina moja inasema kukua na uhakika mm -hmm. ya kwamba yale ambayo hayako yako. Amen. So, mekana, na ni bayana ya mambo yanayotarajiwa. Now according to our brother Steve is explaining it also very well that faith first you must, the word there you must be sure with the things you are hoping for. The word must underline. Sure underline. And the things you are hoping for underline. That is a faith. When this was pure. Amen. Mwingine. Anyone? Kitu cha kwanza. Now the first thing. Ni nani ameai test hapa imani na ikafanya kazi? Who has ever tested the faith and it worked for him? Here. Let us start now from our brother and then we go to our sister. Tell us. Amen. Yes. 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 And when I was praying, and I told God, I believe there is a day I will have a child. And I stood in that confirmation. Even there are so many people that fought my marriage so that we can dissolve with my, my, with my wife. But I had the faith. So and that faith has already worked out. And now I have a chance. Perfect. <laughs> Anyone who has ever tested the faith and it has worked. <laughs> When our brother Felix was preaching in the morning, how can we go to church and we are not fruitful? And he said us to preach, Praise to pray. God. Mm -hmm. And I had faith. And when I pray, God will do something. Just call your people. I or we alone, we cannot succeed without you, Jesus. But God, we are calling you through this prayer. Now bring your children. Praise God. Praise God. And I have that faith that God has already done it. 
Maybe some people they might take this one as a very critical also. But it happened in January this year on 10th. When I was coming back to Nairobi, I was having 1,000 shillings. Other people they were paying 3,000 shillings. I touched my money 1,000 and I prayed for it. And I hit on the stage. And I went there to speak to the conductor. And I went there to speak to the conductor. If I could go to the booking office, they could speak a different language. Then conductor can And then the conductor looked at me and he laughed at me. Then I sat on a stone somewhere. Then I continued praying to God. When the, the, the vehicle that was coming, the road was full. And then the conductor called me. He told me the vehicle will, will stand at Eldoret and Nakuru. Now, where we are going to stand, the, 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 the police they will come to check if it's success. So, and then he told him when we are near those areas, it will be to go very faster. Then you have to be very fast. When you are coming, we are entering the door of the vehicle at that staircase. You, you, you come out and then you go ahead. And then also be very careful to, to, to mark the number plate of this vehicle. And I did like that. When the, the, the vehicle is coming out from that station now, then I could stop the vehicle. And then I reached Nakuru. Now I had 1,000 And now I reached here at, with 1,000 while other people are paying 3,000. And I reached Nairobi with 1,000. And I thank God for what he did. That is the time I said faith is there and it works for the people who believe. And the Bible says anyone who does not believe and is supposed to start believing from today. Amen. 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 There was a day I gave a testimony. And I told you about my life. Amen. I told you that in our in our in, in our home or in our in our in our house. I, I did not see my father. But I have my mother. That when I was growing up, the money I could value it was 200 shillings and it was coming from an agriculture of somebody and the house that you were living even a cube is very big one if two visas could come one could go out let's go and I passed through that life. And there's a time I came and I came to understand God. And that time, I was, I was not having money and a job. And there's a day I was sitting in the house. And I said, And one day, we are going to come out from this small cube and from this home and where we are going, I don't know. And what I know is this one. We are going to have a big house. I don't know where, but we must have it. Praise Jesus. And I told my mother and I said it will happen. Praise Jesus. 
Mimi sidi nilifanyika aje. I don't know how it happened. Leo hii ako katika nyumba hola na anazunguka hiyo nyumba. Now today my mother is just is just swimming in a very big hole. Just in Na mimi ambaye nilikuwa nalala chini ya kitanda yake. And I was sleeping under her bed. Mimi pia naweza naweza ingia katika nyumba yangu. And I can also go to my house and as that enjoy just swimming in my house. Bwana sasa sasa let's go. Imani ni mambo yasiyoonekana. Faith is those the those things you cannot see but you hope for. Bwana sasa sasa. Amen. Mimi niliona imani kitenda kazi nyingi. I will see the faith working in my life. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. I want to give you a small also. When God called me about this ministry of evangelism, I, I had a group of seven pastors. Some of them, they were pastors, apostles there, bishop was there, I think uh, evangelist was there. And I told them, God has called me so that we can come together and preach this true gospel. We were sitting in a certain church. I told them that's what God has said. And God is going to take us to nations to preach this. Uh, some of those people, they, they told me, did you have cows or birds speaking? There are some people told me also, in that small, small uh, meeting, they told me, if truly God has said that you are, has called us to do evangelism. Evangelism is the most expensive cost, expensive gift in all the gifts. So you must give us money. God is supposed, supposed to give you millions. Put the millions here to show that the God has spoken to you. I assure them that this thing will happen. They started arguing in the meeting and you know, the people who were arguing, they were not drunk. They were me and other people who were serving Jesus. And I told them this thing it will happen. That time, I was not even having money even to buy a speaker. That time. Because I was employed somewhere. But God told me it's going to do what? These people, they joked. And after some time, God started doing it. He started bringing things. He started bringing things. Then we went to a crusade with one of the, those people. The one, who, the one of those people who qualified was one bishop. When I started this evangelism. But the way I was operating this evangelism, it was not according to the way this world operates. Then there was a day we went to crusade somewhere in Kiambio. And then he told me, before we start this crusade, we, we need to invite the comedians to come and bring people. And then after people have come, we'll give you 15 minutes to preach. I told the bishop and another pastor, I cannot allow you. <laughs> and they left me in that crusade alone and they told me, we, are going, we have already assured you, you cannot continue this ministry. You are going to fail. But now we ha I have preached without those people. I have gone to other nations to preach. I have gone to many areas to preach without these people. And they have seen it and they have called me Satan. After that has been fulfilled. That time when I was talking, I was not even having a house. So they were looking at me with their own physical eyes. But I told them we are going. And I want to assure the people who are here, uh, we are going to reach kings. Amen. You have heard the message that uh, Steve has preached here. This message, even if you go to our YouTube channel, God has already confirmed we need to deal with the kings. Because most of the servants in this world, when it reaches to kings, when it reaches to armies, they are not ready. But this group, it has been ordained more than Prophet uh, Jeremiah to deal with the kings. So if you are here, understand that you are in the servants. Don't worry about uh, anything this world is talking about. But a time is going to come, my friend. You are going to see these things. If God has spoken, it must happen. Let us continue. Amen. Amen. Anyone who has taken faith here? Ah, our brother uh, Steve. Amen. 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 Okay, me. Amen. What I can say? It is just a testimony, but it will encourage someone. I can remember the time I was in the prison. It was a very challenging life. And not a good life also. But 
But the faith I had in the prison. And then they told me you have to pay a bond of a hundred thousand Kenya shillings. And that time when I had that one, I started shaking because I don't have that one. And then I was so much demoralized, discouraged. Because I knew our family cannot get that money. But something told me, be encouraged. Just yeah, have faith. And I had faith. And when I returned to the court, for the faith I had believed, and then I spoke to the judge. And the judge also had my request. And the way also God did to this judge. And judges use the bond from 100,000 to 20,000. From 100,000 to 20,000. So, and then from there, I continue having faith. And I know that to have faith is wonderful. I continue encouraging myself. And I could not discourage myself again. And I had a strong faith. And what happened? When I returned to the court again, and then I stood there with the courage of Jesus now. And my faith continued increasing in the court. And then I spoke with the judge. And I told the judge with the faith. Even the man you told me about 20,000, I don't have it. And then judge asked me, How much can you get? Listen to this. I said to judge, What I can get now? 5,000. <laughs> and judge said, Look at the man, he said, Are you sure with 5,000? And I told Judge that one I'm 100 percent sure it is here. And that the faith I was having before the judge. And then judge asked the prosecutor, what are we supposed to do now? <laughs> and the time judge is consulting the prosecutor, my faith is still increasing. And the prosecutor stood and said, I don't have anything to say, Jack. You just conclude the matter. We go. I. My father was there. And then they asked my father, Can you get this 5,000 that I mentioned here? And my father said, Yes. And then judge said, Your cash bill is now 5,000 from 100,000. I can tell you that you must have a faith and be encouraged by Jesus. And then I turned to the, to, to the, to the Bristol and then I stayed there for one week. And without the faith. I didn't know even if my father would come and come, uh, uh, make me to come out from the jail. And then I, I had it, they, they called me. And then they told me today, prepare yourself, you are going back home. And I had the faith and I encouraged myself. Yeah. <laughs> super, super, super. When this was filled, yeah. praise Jesus. Anyone? When even just to say that I believe in Jesus Christ. Even that one is faith. Just to believe. Yes. Now you don't have faith. You must have faith. Oh, do you believe also God created you? All you believe, you came out, you came out from Asinjo, Asinjo Petakas. You passed. You came out from evolution, Charles Darwin, the witch, the, the, the witch doctor. When Jesus came, Jesus. Everyone must have faith. 
But you have to believe in a true faith of Jesus Christ. Yes. When Jesus was doing miracles and wonders, Amen. Amen. there are those people who are coming to Jesus. Do you think they were just coming with their own pleasure like that? What is your spirit? Yes. 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 People are coming to Jesus with different challenges. What is your spirit? Yes. Everyone who was coming to Jesus was coming with his or her own challenges to be solved. But what was making this person to succeed in what has brought him to Jesus? It is a faith. Even before Jesus started handling his problem, Jesus was asking, Do you believe I can do it? Before Jesus do it, do you believe I, Jesus, I can do it? Amen. And the person says, I believe it 100%. Ah, I've been hearing about you, but I believe. Now help me come out of this challenge. Amen. Now I have another question. Now I ask. Now who went to Jesus with the faith of lacking a job and now he was looking for a job? Now, uh -huh, our sister. Amen. For example, I was saying he is believing that Jesus is going to do everything she believes. Amen. Now, for example, now I am asking those time the time for the teaching of Jesus. Who went to Jesus? He was lacking a job, and he wanted a job. The time Jesus was teaching, during the teachings of Jesus, someone was jobless. He went to Jesus so that he can give Jesus can give that person a job. Our, our brother Flex. I, I according to Flex is saying that time I, I, she does not be, he does not believe if someone came to Jesus that way. When this was speaking, Amen. Now, I am the question I ask is this one. Sababu. Now, us who are saved, we must have. Those people who are not saved are also having faith. Many yes. believers do. Many believers have faith. <laughs> that one I would have to ask. Praise Jesus. He's asking, do none believers have faith in God? Now, what is faith? Believing in the things that are going to come, that you have not seen. And how does that faith come? By hearing the word of God. <laughs> now listen, hearing the word of God. Now the believers that are watching Arsenal game and Arsenal game and Manchester, how can we are you going to increase your faith? <laughs> if you are there on horror movies, <laughs> if you are watching a pornography, if you are there supporting Wiper and ODM, how will your faith increase? <laughs> your faith will only increase if you are hearing the word of God. Yeah. Even if you are in the church. You are hearing Ororo, 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 my friend. You are doomed. <laughs> Praise God now. Amen. So, this faith, do not, as someone has faith, is this person listening to the message of Christ. Mm. Praise God. Amen. If it is not that, even if you have said, I believe I'm going to get this one, and it is not according to the faith of Jesus, and the person will receive, it is not Jesus who has done that, that one. And that one, it is not a faith, it is sorcery from the devil. So, now the believers, they don't have a faith unless they change from listening to get a radio and they come stay tuned to the spiritual radio. <laughs> I'm telling you, they don't have faith. 
I don't know if you have understood this one. Have you understood this one? Now, faith comes those the people who believe in Jesus, who is the faith. Amen. These are the things I have witnessed. Now, and a believer also standing in a gap. Now, a believer also standing in a gap. And a believer coming and saying, I believe, I'm going to, to, I'm going to build a very big house. And a believer. And then you wonder, he does not believe in the one who is supposed to build the house for that person. And then you wonder, who is going to fulfill that, that, that dream? You don't want the God who is going to build the house. Who fulfills this? Amen. Now from today, faith is those people who believe. Amen. Now let us come to the believers. Now when the people went to Jesus, now they get their own problems. And they believe that Jesus will save them. Amen. Now as the believers we are in the church. Now find it, now look clear where this nonsense attacking the church. Now you are saved. Now God has called you to be a teacher or a prophet or an apostle. I'm a poem in badge. All you are is a singer. But this was fear. Why are you going to be a teacher? Now God has called you to serve him. But now the life you are living. But this was fear. Amen. You don't believe that God can raise that gift that has given you so that you can go to levels. Now, now you say, I want the job, I want to go to Saudi Arabia, I want to go to the levels of this world. But the levels of the spirit, you are not going. When there's a sphere, that's where Christians are, they want to go to physical levels but not to spiritual level. Faith does not come to decide the things of this world. Faith is to practice what God wants. When Jesus Jesus. Yes, I believe today I want to go and preach. God encourage me so that I can go and attack the devil. God is going to fulfill it. And you will go and do it. Amen. But you, you have a faith that you are going to be married or you are going to get a job, start a business. After God giving you that business or that job, even that money you're going to get from that business, you don't come to church and attend to the services. You come to the church the, the day you want. Amen. Is this a faith and is he God the one who fulfilled it? Amen. Go to give you something that will separate you from his love. Is that on the God? Mm -hmm. When is a spirit? Amen. Amen. I'm a man, 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 Or you have faith, God give me money, I want to do a very big crusade. When is a spirit? Amen. That's the faith God wants. Like in this way, my touch, I'm a man. But now, according to the faith of many people, they put their demands ahead, not the spiritual demands. When a spirit. Amen. You are praying, God, give me a car, give me a job, give me a children's. Amen. Now you have forgotten God is saying, seek me, I will reward you with the things you want. Now you are not focusing on God, you are focusing on the things that are supposed to be following you. Amen. Because the people they have faith only about the things, not spiritually. People who came to Jesus, they had the challenges. People did not come to Jesus because their life was tough. Because these are the people they were sick. 
Some of these people they were blind. Then, do you see, is there anyone who went to Jesus? Jesus, I need the money from you. When Jesus Amen. Faith is to tackle spiritual matters first. Faith is to deal with the spiritual matters first. How fair that God is going to live to minimize the spiritual gift so that I become someone important in his kingdom. Amen. Now, many people that are not focusing on the true faith, they have been swallowed by demonic faith. Amen. Now, even look at our brother Gideon. Even God asked, what do you want to be? Solomon. And then Solomon said, I just need wisdom. No, he did not say, give me weapon. I want to fight this country and win. No, I need this one. At that time, there was still war. But what is amazing, this guy prayed for wisdom, not for weapons. Amen. <laughs> Look at the faith this guy was having. Praying for wisdom, not for the land. But now here, when God is visiting someone, now God has come here. You tell me your problems. Amen. <laughs> Many people they will come up with the stories, my friend, to the drama. But as I You will hear things that they will amaze you. But God said to Solomon, what you have read? Now, when I will refuse the things of the world, me, I am just going to add you land, I'm going to add you children, wife, money, fame, everything. I'm at, this one is for free. But there's a spirit. No, God did not say that you started by asking the material things. Ask spiritual matters. But now, most of the believers, their faith is on the material things. Even you go to the pastors, all the servants, they tell you, I'm seeing you go to international level. Then you start working with that kind of international now. Do you think that event is going to work? What are you going to do in America or in Saudi Arabia? You, you yourself, if you are not obeying God, what are you going to do in Korea? Praise God. Do you need the faith to go and work for the Lord or you need the faith to go to Saudi Arabia so that you can sleep with dogs? Faith that we need to believe in. Right? We need land, gas, money, go the good things of this world. That's the faith. It is not required in the universe. You believe, Father, that the gospel must be moving and God is going to cut her for the rest. What God purpose in your life first, you have the spiritual gift. That's the where your faith is supposed to be focusing on. And then other things like land, the man, these things they will follow, they will come. Amen. Now you, you, you are putting material things first and then you, you remain to put a spiritual gift first, you will think. Now check what do you believe? You just wake up in the morning and say, God, I'm going to visit my brother somewhere to teach him about spiritual matters and what I believe. May this person understand what I'm going to teach. That is a faith. Now, the faith most of the believers they have is about material things. If they can get money, they can get land, a good house, food, then that one is its faith. Now, even the God is so much surprised. Why are you praying for? 
Imani hayuko kwa vitu vya dunia. Faith is not about material things my brother. Imani ni kufanya kazi ya Mungu hiyo. Faith is about spiritual matters moving ahead. Uambie watu ile kitu nilichoamini kilifanya hiki na kikukuza Mungu. The things that I believe in the spirit it has happened. Spiritual matters that's the faith. Which you believe you want a job or you will be married. After getting married, you sleep in your house with your husband, you don't come to church, you enjoy yourself. Amen. Why are you coming away from the right path? Kwa nini tunaanza kuchukua imani ya Mungu tunaanza kurudisha kwa Mungu? Na why are we changing the true faith and putting it on the wrong faith? Mimi mm. najua mahali niko hapa. I know where I am. Mungu ananipeleka viwango vya juu. God is taking me to another level spiritually. Yes. Na nangangana hiyo viwango hili ni vifiti. And I know I will reach those levels. Yale nimefundishwa nyuma ni ya flat. The things that have been taught I have to pay. Mpaka nangangana nifike hapo so that I reach those things. Na ndipo sure nitafika. And I'm sure I'll have to reach. Lakini yale nimefundishwa. What have been taught? Nimeachana nayo. I have to pay. Si ya flat. I'm not to pay. Lakini niko na imani nafika hapo. And I have faith that I'm going ahead. Kwa nini sasa? It doesn't happen that. Nitafika. It doesn't happen that. Way. Mtu unamfundisha leo kuanzia leo. You are teaching this person from today. Usimwache Mungu wako. Do not leave your God. Popote mahali Mungu utakuwa. Everywhere we are going God is there. Nuhakikishe unashuhudia mambo ya Mungu. And and sure everywhere you are going testify about God not about your job. Kwa nini unasikia? Wewe yule umefundisha huyo mtu. You have told the person. Umkuta anafanya kitu wrong. And then you find the person doing against what happened. Ukimkemea kitoko. If you rebuke the person Yalu me mfundisha ni mafi kwa na everything that you have told this person it becomes a fist to him. Ame achana hiyo. He has left it. Na yeye anataka afike huko. And the, the same the person once the God has left to take to take that the, that person to another level. What is us feel? Amen. Amen. Imani ambayo tuko nayo. The faith we have. Vile uliokolewa. The way you are saved. Ila akili imeendulieka na Mungu. The covenant you put with God. Mungu nataka nifanye hiki. God I want to go to nation to feed the people. Ukinifikisha hivi viwango. When you take me to the nations. Mungu nitakufanyia hivi. I'm going to do your work. Na najua Mungu ananiinua. And I know God you're going to take me. When is us feel? Uanze kufuatana na mambo ya Mungu. And then you start to follow the things of God. Imani yako itainuka. And then your faith will keep on increasing. And the person said, when you give me a job, easy person that draws money. The money I will get, I'm going to use that money to do God's work. Amen. When the person got a job, now problems attack the person. Now you see the child is very sick, he's almost dying. You have taken the money for evangelism, put in the hospital. Oh, that thing is mukonjo. Now this one, this one is a very sick person. When is that fear? You have taken the money to the hospital. Mama, na liya mi na kupanja na mi. Now my mother is crying. I'm here dying with the anger. I'm the one who gave birth for you. You are taking the money. But this is the kind of anger na we who can have pesa. Ah, how can I sleep angry and you are there with the money? Utapata la ana. Ah, I'm going to curse you. Liya pesa me tuma sana. Now the dress of your mother, you are sending all the money to her. Mungu na shanga sasa. Now God is going to be shocked. Ali niomba ni pe afanyi. Now even he prayed for this money. Yeah, me chiza wa me debi. Now he has left what he prayed. He has disobeyed the covenant. He's doing her own things. When this is true, Amen. Who am I to arrange for a kid? The person does not come to sense and repent. Gazi naisha. Now the job got finished. Ananza kuangai. Now the person starts suffering. When this is true, Amen. Ni kwa nini anangai? Why is this person suffering? What he 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 agreed with the God. The person does not do it. Anymore. Yes, God said, okay, you need a job, you need a wife, I've given you. Then after disobeying and God has started shaping you, you start blaming God. Now, anyone who was blessed with God and then the person became poor again. It is not a sin to make the person fail. The person who stood, even David said, since I was young, now I'm old. I've never seen a righteous person, his children, all generation begging for the bread. Amen. What makes the people to backslide? 
Sababu yale maagana aliyoweka na Mungu. The most important things the agreement you made with God you said I will be singing, I will be preaching, I will be doing this but you only disobey that one. You have already cast yourself. Ah kushughulika. Then from there things are going to be the mess. Yeye aliweka mbele matatizo yale yalikuja kwa familia. You put in front your challenges more than your calling. Lakini mwenye alimuita na kumpa hiyo vitu ambavyo the calling you are given your freely you did not care anymore. Sababu na zaidi ni familia yetu. Because now this is the family, this is my friends, hey, the government, hey, this is my age, my neighbors. Nikipatwana shita hawa ndio watanishika. When I get a problem, it is them to help. Who told you? When is us feel? Basi hata kwa wale ukawaona. Now you got them. Continue deceiving yourself with them. Usirudi kwa Mungu. Do not come back to God. Sababu matatizo ya familia ilikuwa ya maana kuliko wewe. You looked at your problems more important than the gift God gave you. When is us feel? Amen. Kwa nini tunapotea? Why do we come out from the right path? Sababu mawazo yetu tunataka vitu. Because our mind is full of material things not full of the gospel. Kila ambacho uliagiri na Mungu haukifaa. What you have agreed to God now now they don't do it. Ndio inafanya unateseka. That's why God is challenging your life. Unaanza kusema kwamba wakati wangu ikifika. Then you say when my my, my time will come. Wakati gani? What time? Mungu mwenyewe anasema wakati umeogopa na kumjua na kunifuata basi God says the time you receive him that's your time and all the days of your life now you are in the time of Jesus. Hakuna ati wakati Mungu ametenga uishi masikini utazeka alafu atakuja kukufanya. Hakuna today that God is going to make you pass this one. Once you believe all the time is very important. Bwana Jesus. Kila kitu Mungu aliachilia kwako. What God promise in your life? Lakini wewe unasema kwamba wakati wa Mungu ikifika utashangana when, when the time comes you will be ashamed. Hiyo ni imani uko nayo ambayo haina mwelekeo. That faith you don't have it's not a good faith. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ujue ya kwamba hata ushafundishwa hata maandiko inasema Even you have been taught you know everything. Ile mtu ameokoka na kunifuata kila kitu kimfuata. Any one who has believed and is obeying me let everything the land the wife the children money for the person. Hakuna muda Mungu alitenga ya kwamba wewe muda wako ukifika utabarikiwa. There's no time God has said that this is the time for blessing. All, once you believe in him, you're already blessed. Unaambia watu yeye ni jekeni tu wakati wangu Now you, you, you keep on going to you laugh at me but the, my, when, my, when my time comes you will know. Hiyo ni imani gani? Is, is that one effect? Sababu wewe unataka kuwa na vitu waone kweli uko na vitu. Because what you are after is about things. When you get now things, that's the time you will come and testify. When is us feel? Amen. Mungu yule alikuita ile karama alikupea mpaka ifanye kazi kwa mbele that God gave you if it's not going to be number one in your life my friend you are wasting your time hata kama nikulala kwa mikutano mkiupiri ngangana hiyo ni mchana to take a time for you to sleep in the, in, in the meetings uh, preaching that is the most important thing Vanessa Spiro kwa mchakarikaji kwa kila jambo ensure that you support the word of God wakisema leo tunaenda church kufanya usafi kuwa pale if they say today we are meeting in the church for cleaning be there hadi unasema watu ni wengi waache wale you say there are so many people that them go but i cannot go there Vanessa Spiro alafu kwa na imani unataka kubarikiwa and then you have faith you want to go to take you to levels Mungu anataka aone yule mtu anatoa jasho kwa God want to know that was the spiritual gift they gave you are you working on it fast Yule mtu hana amani kwa nyumba analia You don't have peace in your in, in your home you just cry But that if you nifike huko how will I get the money and reach for your people that Nitaonekana aje na Mungu wangu How will God take me Vanessa Sphere Amen Lakini hiyo unasema hiyo watu wenye wako karibu washukuliwe But now you say the people who are near let them do it Unajua ni kwa nini Mungu alipeleka mbali Do you know how God took that thing a far Vanessa Sphere Amen Mungu alipeleka mbali anataka kuona utakuwa uaminifu kweli God has taken it far because he want to know if you are going to be ready and faithful for it is cost Utashughulika na kazi yake mali ameiweka Are you going to work on his work where he's going to bless it Manezasfia. <laughs> Are you going to succeed? Hiyo tu ameweke life life hiyo hizi. It is there 
Once you go to Uganda every Sunday, you are reporting there, and then you come back, you are worshipping in Uganda, and then you come back every Sunday. If you don't go, don't expect the 5 million. Amen. Many people, our Bible is saying, many people that can want to go to Uganda because if they can get a chance to get the money not to break it, it's such a thing. Someone who can even go and report and say, if it is God, he said, to be going to Uganda, I report there for two months, and this is five million, I get it. Someone can even go and say the land and the borrow because he needs the money, not the gospel to spread. People that are going to get all the means that they can fulfill it. Amen. Finding all the means to get the money. So that you can get the money. Even if you are going to borrow how many millions, you know you are going to get millions more than what you are borrowing. Amen. That's what the people that are desiring in their hearts. But now they're telling us believe in the spiritual matters. The work of the Lord must be number one. Must. Hey. Amen. If they have told you stop gossiping. If they have told you stop following your human uh, 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 mind. Now believe in the Lord. If there's nothing you are receiving in the Lord, now just say like that. But you, you are there meditating. How will tomorrow be and I don't have anything? God, can you just intervene yourself in my life? Will it happen? Will it happen? Now fear, it's attacking you because of tomorrow. Fear, you are under fear. You are, it, is, it is a fear making you to cry to the Lord. It is a fear, not a faith. Now you, you start to wonder, how about next week, how, what am I going to eat? God, now start to my heart, lead me. Amen. Even God, when he looks at you, he said, You don't know him. You are after things. Because even God has said, Do not worry about tomorrow. I, God myself, am already doing it for tomorrow. But you are here disturbing God about tomorrow. Amen. Do you know that? Do you think God is a fool who said, Do you know? I know you need the clothes. I know you need even the shoes, house, you need even a wife. God knows everything. Now you are there sitting and saying, I don't have a shoes now, God. I want to go and uh, uh, find it myself. And then you will intervene from there. Amen. Now a shoe can make people to come to church. Even if it was come with the bare foot to church, you just come. Because God knows that you need the shoes. I'm going to the church. Don't worry about the things of the world, my friend. God wants to see if you are faith with on the spiritual or on the physical. And I also follow his teachings. Amen. People who came to Jesus, they were challenged. And they, they, they needed healing. And their faith made them to maneuver. Do not come to God with the physical faith. God knows once you receive these material things, some of the people, they will even die early. That's why you are living saying, My time, my time will reach, my time will come. Praise Jesus. And even, for example, if, even if you are not saved, uh, faith is for the people who believe in Jesus. And if you are not doing God's work, 
Uliza Mungu kweli mali nimefika Mungu nionyeshe nimefika ama baba has to go to lead you where is supposed to lead you Nimesonga viwango ama baba Am I moving to levels or am I backsliding Amen. You are the one to be examining yourself all the days. Anyone who is here does not know how he is moving in, in, in spiritual you, you know I am on this level. Amen. You know that God has made me to reach to this level. We must have faith. When we say that we are going to reach to the kings and pray to them to repent. Amen. We just wake up and go to the kings like that one no. no, it doesn't happen that way. There is a procedure how God is going to take us today. Even if you, before you reach to the center house or to the palace, this world the people that they already ran a, a bullet on you. But now here, God is going to direct us on how we are going to reach to them. Now we are working on it. To ensure that our faith is firm. We cannot be shaken with anything. But even you just see, if, if people they gossip about you, you, you become mad. And then you are saying that we are going to the set house to deal with the president. Amen. If just a small person can discourage you, and even if you have been even even in local, you have just heard the message that they have gospel to you and already been discouraged. How are you going to eat things? You have been demoralized. And then you are saying you are moving ahead to the things of the Lord. You cannot reach Now you are leveled are still down. You must know that even people they must betray you for you to be in the kind of fight. Amen. So that you can know that you are moving ahead. You have, you have to see when the families and friends betray you. That's the time you know now you are moving in this Even friends, when they just correct you, you are being discouraged. Because the faith you have cannot take you Faith, you must ensure you are walking on the right path. Focus on the faith you have. And believe in what you want If God called you to sing and you are not singing, and you have faith that you need a job, that one just come out for me. Amen. If they told you to stop fornication, adultery, prostitution, anything else, and you are still operating underwater, hiding, hiding, and you want to go to, to enlarge you, make you to prosper, it doesn't work that way. Amen. That faith cannot take you home. First, you must sharpen your life, live a holy life, and God is going to work on your life spiritually and physically. Amen. Anyone who is having any question should ask. Let us talk from there.